Land-Based Salmon Farming Basics at the Freshwater Institute. The Freshwater Institute has been developing recirculating aquaculture systems, or RAS, for over 30 years. In recent years, our focus has been researching and refining land-based production techniques to grow Atlantic salmon, which has been the second most consumed seafood in the U.S. for six consecutive years and is one of the top three seafoods imported to the U.S. Growing Atlantic salmon at the Freshwater Institute is a two-year process, beginning with the arrival of eggs, which are placed in our incubation system for six to eight weeks. Over the short stay in the incubation system, eggs become alvin, alvin become young fish known as fry. At the end of the eight weeks, the young fish are transferred to the fry system for seven months, where they undergo smultification. From there, they are moved to the fingerling system, where they stay for five months. At a year old, the fish are moved to the grow-out tank for 12 months or more, depending on the target harvest size. Once the fish reach our target size of 10 to 12 pounds, harvesting begins. Each week, fish are sent to the finishing tank for six days and are then humanely slaughtered using best practices. The fish are packed on ice and sent to the processor the same day, where they are prepared for distribution to stores and restaurants for test marketing. The journey begins with the arrival of eggs from one of our suppliers in Norway or Iceland. In low light conditions, eggs are gently removed from the packaging and disinfected with 100 parts per million iodine for 10 minutes. This prevents pathogens from entering the hatchery. Eggs are then washed and stocked in the incubation trays. The water in the recirculating incubation system is chilled and kept at 7.5 degrees Celsius. Progress of the eggs is monitored daily in the system. We watch for the transition from egg to alvin, removing eggshells and non-viable eggs daily. At 50% hatch, our day's post-hatch measurement begins. Once all the eggs hatch, the alvin will survive on the yolk sacs for 40 days. After the yolk sac is absorbed, the young fish, now fry, are ready to be ponded in the fry tanks in preparation for their first feeding. At 900 accumulated temperature units, we begin to introduce a commercial fish feed diet. The commercial feeds are sized to match the life stage. Sizes range from crumb, for the smallest fish just beginning to feed, to 10.5 millimeters pellets for the largest fish in the grow out tank. Once the fry reach 40 grams in weight, we begin the process of inducing smultification. All the tanks are covered with a light-proof enclosure and undergo a 12-hour light, 12-hour dark photo period, lasting for six weeks. Smultification is a process that results in physiological, biochemical, and morphological changes. Once this process occurs, the fish are referred to as smolt. In aquaculture, salmon smolts are desired because of their faster growth rates. At 100 grams, the smolts are stocked into the post-smolt system. During their time in this system, the fish population is sampled every two months to monitor performance. We gather information on fish lengths and weights to assess various performance metrics like feed conversion. Once the fish reach 700 grams, they are transferred to our RAS production tank, or grow-out tank. Here we will see an average growth rate of 350 grams per month per fish. The fish population is again sampled every two months to monitor performance and assess various performance metrics. When the fish reach 10 to 12 pounds, we begin the harvest, which lasts only four to eight weeks of the year. Harvesting 5,000 pounds a week typically requires two to three people and takes one and a half hours. We begin by dropping a grater into the tank to separate the larger fish from the smaller fish. Smaller fish are able to swim through the holes back into the open area of the tank. Some of the larger fish not able to pass through the grater will be selected for harvest for that week. Fish are netted to the tank side box and then carefully sent down a slide into the finishing tank where they will undergo a six day purge. On the sixth day, Fish are netted from the finishing tank and humanely slaughtered using best practices. They are put on ice and sent to the processor the same day. 
This process requires up to four people and takes approximately four hours. Once at the processor, the fish are filleted and packaged and then sent to a seafood distributor. The distributor will then supply local grocery stores to test market fresh, locally raised Atlantic salmon.